So let's talk a little bit more about styles, adding styles to the components. So we have here a bootstrap patch. Let's test this. Let's see how, let's see if this compiles because I don't know. It does compile and it's an alert. Look, it's an alert blue with the number two right there. This is coming from bootstrap alerts here. They're not from alerts, my bad, from batch bootstrap. Let me see if I can find it here, batch. If you don't know any bootstrap, basically what this is telling you, bootstrap comes with a bunch of CSS classes that you can use. It's like a style sheet that you import into your project. And when you import it, if you put this HTML exactly as it is, it will look like this. It's, it's like a predefined style sheet to avoid having to do the entire CSS from scratch. And you normally use those with Bootstrap will be almost enough to do your entire your entire application without any CSS whatsoever. If you know it well, Bootstrap, you will need no CSS at all. So that's cool because a lot of people hate doing all these uh, layouts with CSS and stuff. So basically, they are giving us this opportunity to add now this script, this little HTML script or HTML block of code and it will look like a button with the little notification on the right side. And that's what we have here in this exercise. You can see it's, it says alerts and then two. Okay, so we have to make it look like this, like yellow and red and circle. You can see it there. So if we wanna do that, we gotta tweak it, right? So the first thing I'm guessing, if I am gonna use styles for that, since the boost, uh, bootstrap says, not React says, that the styles have to be specified in an object. We have two objects here. We have the button styles object that it's gonna be defined in the button styles. It's here, it's being used here in the style property. And then we have the badge styles here. So what they're asking us to do is to fill in these objects with whatever we, we need to make it look like that. So the first thing I'll do, is, since I know that the button has to be yellow, I'm gonna say that my background, it's yellow. I need it yellow, so it's gonna be yellow. And let's test this. Let's see if it works. Let me close these tabs that we don't need. And let's see how it looks. It's yellow, you see? It's looking good. I mean, it's looking really bad, but it's looking better because it's closer to the solution. So the, the next thing will be to make the color the color black. The badge has to be with a background red. So background red. The badge, no, the, the notification is what I meant. And then the color inside of it, of the number two, has to be white. So color white. Ah, oh, this is not a semicolon, it's just a colon. Comma, my bad. Okay, let's run it to see if it's looking good. It didn't compile. What was the problem? Your code has some errors. Black is not defined. Oh yeah, I have to bring in quotes, because if not, it's gonna think it's a variable. Let's try again. Now it did compile. So we have a border there that we don't like. Let's say that the border we wanted zero pixels. So border zero. Thank you very much, but I don't want a border. Try again, no border. So I think it looks exactly, no, we're missing the circle here. So for the badge, let's put a border radius. Border radius. This is because I don't, I remember them by, by memory, but you don't have to remember them. It's really not gonna make big of a difference. Like if you have to say, how do I make, uh, how do I make it like this? Like, how do I, uh, how to, let's say, how to round corners CSS. And it's border radius, here it is. You see, border radius. You can, and uh, W3School is always a good resource and you have it here, so if you open it. Wow, W3Schools has the certificate missing. Okay, so here you have 
the example. See, and you can try it yourself. Normally, it looks a lot better, the website. It's broken right now. The way it is is never broken, and it's amazing. So don't worry about it. It will probably be good when you see it. It's giving you the examples, and you can try it yourself. So let's go back here. Let's remove the semicolon, because it's not supposed to be there. And let's test this again, or build it, to see if now we have the radius. Yep, look, there it is, the radius. I put 10 pixels, but I don't know if I have to put 10 pixels. Let's test it and see if that's okay for the for the auto correction or the auto grading. You can see here that the border none they were expecting, not border zero, but I guess it's the same. So we can say border none. And for the other stuff, oh my god, this is frozen now. Uh, so working. Oh no! I don't know what happened. And the computer froze. I'm gonna have to come back to this later. Well, but it's it's almost there. Like the other difference would be the border radius. Maybe they were expecting 20 pixels or or something like that. Here's the. I'm gonna wait here, but I'm gonna stop the exercise. It's almost done.